Hey guys. So I think at this point, everybody's familiar with an SB7 spirit box. This is the little device where it scans radio frequencies, you know, at a, at a rate that you can set and you hear the static from the radio and occasionally, uh, if you're so inclined to believe, you hear the voice of spirits or entities that are not around. This is what it sounds like before it sleeps. Let me turn that down just a little bit. The radio signal in this building uh, is slim. Um, I have been messing with this here for just a little bit. And I pick up one radio station for, you know, just a second. And it's, you know, depending on your sweep rate, of course, it's going to be a little different. And your location, it's going to be different for everybody. The problem with this is, even when it's up all the way, which it is right now, this is what you hear. It's quiet. You can't hear anything. And all you really hear is the static. Well, there is a solution to this problem, and I did not come up with this, um, but it's a cool little invention, so to speak. So I built this for less than $150. Uh, your price will vary depending on whether or not you can find some used equipment, or maybe you already have it laying around. Uh, that being said, I'm going to walk you through a way, something you've probably seen before, either on YouTube or maybe even a paranormal show to get the most out of a spirit box. And um, I would argue, actually, the Estes method is probably the best way. But we're going to do something a little different. And we're going to use this in the future for some live streams. So what I have right here is a Honeytone mini amp. This is just a little portable guitar amp. You can actually use a battery if you if you really want here. There's actually, it came with one. It's not hooked up. Um, just a little portable speaker. Basically, you have a few controls on the top. Um, volume, tone, overdrive. Uh, and you have uh, a line in, you have headphones out, and you have a DC 9-volt connection out. Well, how do we make this go into this? Well, it's really easy, actually, but we're going to add some steps in between. Another thing that we're going to use for this project is called a noise gate guitar effects pedal. This happens to be one made by Sonic Cake. I got this on eBay uh, for about $25, I think. Uh, it's called the Noise Wiper. And basically what this is going to do is it's gonna take out all that static burst when the spirit box is running. And we'll get that set up here in just a second. The second thing that we're gonna add in between is a reverb guitar effects pedal. I bought this used on Guitar Center. Uh, for about the same price, I think. Honestly, I don't remember exactly. Uh, and this is just going to add a little bit of an echo to make any voices that come through pop. Now, we can't just set these beside each other and, and hope that they work. That's not really how this is going to go. So I'm going to show you how to hook it all up. So we have our little amp here. And I got these little pedal, guitar pedal cables. Um, if you played guitar, electric guitar, uh, you probably have some of these laying around. They don't have to be short. If you have long ones, I guess you can make it work. So we're going to plug one into the input on this little amp. And you could also use just a regular speaker. Um, it doesn't have to be a little mini guitar amp. Uh, but I will eventually mount these somewhere on here so that they're you know all connected. That's the plan anyway. So going into the speaker input, we're going to have the output of the reverb. And that's going to be, if we look at it here, it says output. You can't really read it. It says output right here. It's an arrow going that way. So we know that is the output. So we'll just plug that in. Pretty simple. And the other one, this is a little easier to see, the little arrows, the little white indicators. So we have an input up here by my thumb, output right here. So we're going to go from the output of this to the input of the reverb. Just pop that in. I'll turn this around. And we're going to put this into the input on the reverb. Boom. Okay. Those connections are set. Now we need to connect 
the spirit box to the input on the amplifier. You just have to find my cable. Here we are. So this is a like an adapter cable, basically. This is the uh, standard guitar cable size. This is your three and a half millimeter for your regular headphone jack. So we're going to plug the input here to the pedal. That's the big one. And the little one is going to go into the headphone port on the spirit box. Boom. Well, that's all well and good, but now we still don't have power. So the solution to that is I have a power adapter here. This is a big convoluted thing that I can easily cut some, some room out of. But these are daisy chained uh, power supplies. So you can plug one in and continue on. This I think will do up to four or five. Um, we're only going to be using two of them. We're going to go ahead and plug this into the wall. Actually, we'll be using three because we'll power the amp with it as well. And that is a benefit to using uh, guitar uh, effect things is because they're all going to be DC 9 volt uh, power adapters. So you can daisy chain this relatively simple. So I'm going to plug one of these into the power on the amplifier and we're going to plug one in the next one in line i guess it doesn't really have to be the next one in line we're going to plug that into the power for the noise gate and the next one into the power for the reverb now turn these on and off these guitar effects pedals if you're not familiar there's little buttons down here these silver buttons just push those they, now these are off okay so we'll turn those back on Boom, that's ready to go. It looks a mess, but it's good. So we'll go ahead and turn the amplifier on. Okay. Actually, I'm going to leave this turn like so. Now we have everything hooked up. We just turned our spirit box on. And we'll start the sweep. I'm running this at two. Let's, let's run it at 150. And we'll sweep it forward. That's 150 milliseconds. I'm going to turn the amp on. We have both of these on. I've kind of got these set up. What you're going to want to do is turn the threshold knob from your noise gate down. Well. They don't want it happening. Okay, we're back. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly happened. Um uh, with the power, but I got it taken care of. So now we're going to turn this on. And what I was trying to say, you hear the, you can hear the static. So we're going to turn this up just a little. And now it's done it again. Okay, so I think I know what it is. We're going to turn this up. So the static goes away, just barely. You want it just, the, just barely on there. Just like that. And we can you can adjust the reverb once you start getting things going through uh, to how you want the reverb to go. So now we can adjust the volume up here. We're good there. We just have to wait until someone wants to speak with us. You can see the spirit box is running. I did just hear a little something. What I would recommend you do is the... All right, hello. The exposed uh, leads that are not being used on this daisy chain cable, uh, wrap those with electrical tape. And uh, just what was shorting out, I think, I was touching those on the metal casing of the pedals. And that's why I couldn't turn on. But this is how it's all done. And I'm looking forward to trying to use this to communicate with anybody or any intelligence out in the field uh, in the future, I think. We'll have some pretty good little sessions with this thing. Uh, I'll probably put it up on the altar area, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we'll have something soon.
in the meantime, uh, hey, thanks for hanging out, checking out the video. Head on over to the Patreon and subscribe for the month of September, which is still going on. We will be donating your pledge amount to Hurricane Ida Relief if you sign up. And I'm matching a couple more pledges. Uh, I'm just doing five. Um, we have a new Hair Raising Horror Week uh, event coming up, which I will be disclosing more details on in the future. We had a new addition made today. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to having you spending your fall and winter months coming up with us as season three launches. We have a lot of good episodes on the way. More video content like this over on Patreon and lots of other cool stuff too. Uh, it's all going to be stuff that's related to past episodes or future episodes. Uh, early access, of course, on Patreon and lots more. So, hey, thanks for tuning in and uh, maybe I'll talk to someone whenever we're done here.